Hey y'all, it's Mia here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to the first convention of summer. Today, my friends and I are going to Contropolis. And of all the convention vlogs that I've done, we've never been there. But it's actually at the location that we go to most of our conventions at. So I'm not sure if this one's new or we missed it last year, but I'm so excited. I think Contropolis is like a general convention, like New York Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, Fan Expo, Die Geekdom Con. And those are the best ones because you can always find your fandoms there. If you're excited, don't forget to like and subscribe. Join the herd. Let's get started. Hey guys, I'm here at Contropolis. <laughs> Down there. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> Thank you. No We're at the right entrance this time. None of you are over 21, are you? I am, but they're not. <laughs> I'm gonna give this to you because it's for the after party. Thank you. It's a free entrance to the after party. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. See, this is what happens when you get it on Groupon. Groupon. I was too excited and I ordered mine too quickly and I didn't see that there was a Groupon one, but she got that paper coupon. She printed it out. <laughs> Comment down below if we should go to every single Contropolis. Alrighty guys, you know the drill. This is the fit. Did you guys see my hair dyeing vlog? I dyed my hair and it's the color of my girl Miku. And guys, I got a new pin because I'm part of Sai Chai. Sai Chai? Sai Chi. This is my outfit. Bag from Jeffrey, pins from Mimi. Hey, because her birthday passed. Put them all on the lanyard. Per. I'm Jeffrey Liu. Happy first convention of the summer. This is the fit we're repping Star Wars. Happy May the 4th. It wouldn't be a finished fit without Aquaphor. <laughs> I love that Contropolis has like these signs here. It's like so easy to know where you're going. Sadly, we are not meeting any celebrities today because we don't know any of them. This is the celebrity room. Do you guys know Courage the Cowardly Dog? He's here. Panel room? That's the only panel room? Yeah. Oh. It's talking! Yo, look at the toes. Bika, bika. Hey. Yo! Hey. Start dancing! Get down and dirty! Hey, 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 hey! hey, hey, hey. Get it, get it, get it, get it! Hey, hey. Jeff recently showed me Guardians of the Galaxy and I love Groot. Groot with cheese puffs. <laughs> Groot with grunts. Groot in onesie. Groot in onesie. Groot with the Terminator. I am I'm Groot. Groot. We are Mia. They're you selling they're leaders. Pop off the bottom. Uh -huh. I like your like fit and it, oh, like thank you. yes, oh, it is cute. Oh, pop off! Hey. Do a twirl. Do a twirl. <laughs> yes. Period. Okay, Angel Era. I wanted to know what a Nickelodeon Choice Award looks like. It looks like this. Doesn't it look like it's like um 3D printed? That ain't even Fine Nights at Freddy's. That's Fine Nights at the Circus. Why do they look like this? <laughs> Foxy. What the hell they do? <laughs> Two Foxies. <laughs> this is Gamora. And her father threw her off a cliff. Hey, spoiler alert. She looks like a pickle. <laughs> Guys, he was walking by and I thought he was the, actually the actor from no. Blue's Clues. No, he's actually balder. I still have his hair. <laughs> it's Blue's Clues. <laughs> Do you guys remember the era where Sheba and News were like really in? They're such funny, cute dogs. Wait, there's no wind blowing. How is that happening? Oh, wait, it's a f***ing fan. <laughs> Guys, it's Discord. Yo, he's f his head's okay, damn heavy. I've never seen a Funko Pop this big. I met John Delancey at Fan Expo. The thing, when Jeff gets lonely. All right. Guys, I don't know Pokemon, but look at all these miniature Pikachus. He's so cute. I wouldn't collect the cards, but I would collect these. Jeff, look, it's Groot. This is Bigfoot. <laughs> this is the first convention I've seen with lockers. Why is this actually clever though? Like say you have a bunch of stuff in your cosplay or like you're buying a bunch of crap. You buy it, you put it back in, you buy something else, you put it back in. I'm back in high school. I can see myself rocking this. I wish the go boxes were that big. I'd tear it up. Isn't that that girl from Barney? Yo, her head. Mario without a hat, guys. Look. Oh my. Look, Monster High dolls. Meality and Persephone. We, we, don't, we don't like G2. Oh, but she looks so cute there. Oh my gosh, Ever After High. I never seen so many Monster High dolls in one place. <gasps> Cleo Dinah, she's so big out, even though she acts so vile. Oh my god, her and her bob era, she rocked, she rocked any hairstyle she wore. This Monster High doll is so tall. Oh no, that's an Ever After High. He got a glow up in G3, he's kind of hot now. I thought she was the coolest Monster High doll. The way she's literally, like, bones, I love her. I thought this was Apple Jacks from My Little Pony. Oh my god, she was also one of my other favorites. I want to literally start reading every single diary and learn about, like, every single character in Monster High. It's the fact that there's no Frankie, though. Guys, my first My Little Pony booth I've spotted. I love it. <laughs> Holographic. Guys, my girl Miku always popping off with the fits. I see something new every time. Yes! Yes! Oh! That is the cutest thing! Miku Luca written line. 
You can oh my shake god. Them. No way. That is so cute. Oh my god, I love that. And I love your cosplay. She popped off. I love the wig too. It looks like Luca's hair. I love it. I was a girl in the village doing all right. Then I became a princess. Oh wait, they're too tight for my head. I'm Princess Sophia. Oh my god, they're not made to go around the head. Ooh. Guys, I feel like my hair makes me look like a mermaid. So if I was a mermaid, I would look like this. I'm going, guys. LGBT. The one out of 11, yeah. So, so far, you're getting into it. Uh-huh. Look at her hair. Lift it up. It is so beautiful. Oh, period. It suits you, too. Thank you. I know. I really like the purple. Yes. It's so, it's so far, my favorite. She's a teacher, so we need them to tell her that she can dye her hair. There's no <laughs> issue with it. She's expressing herself, and she popped off. Thank you. <laughs> We were trying to help Rosanna find her future partner <laughs> and sadly no one showed up But we're gonna come back and see it like if the booth is bumping But we, we just spent the time talking to the people and they were so sweet The previous girl that you saw was named Dominique. She looks like Emma Chamberlain. Doesn't she? She's so sweet Oh my god, she saw my hair and I was like girl you popped up with your hair. I love conventions. Everyone's so sweet I'm Groot. Look at Rarity popping off in her sparkle. Groot's got the iPad na iPod Nano. As he should man. Don't you wanna be evil like me? Don't you wanna be a man? It's Stitch taking a fat alien shit. Guys, they're letting me play with weapons. Ready? I'm gonna do some tricks Yeah, ready choose your weapon. Oh Oh Oh, 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 whoa, what the? Vote now, who's gonna win? I say Mimi's gonna win. Jeffrey's gonna lose. Yeah! Mimi won. They got sardines. Whoa. Why do I want five dollar fish? They took his head off. Look, it's Nemo's father, Marlin. Wow. <laughs> Gluten free. You're making me hungry. Guys, smell this. Really? It's it smells like a pretzel. No. Colomando chapaya. Guys, look. Who am I? Plaque. Claws out. Guys, here's the craziest, weirdest fact. I please tell me I'm not alone. When I was a kid and I would see leather purses, I don't know why I wanted to eat them. Like it looked like the skin on fried chicken and it looked busting. Like I wanted to eat leather. And I'm in this section right now and it's like it smells like leather and I'm getting hungry. What is that? Like when I was a kid and I would see this, it looks edible. And even the smell and the texture. This is the most silent battle I've ever seen. We used to have crazy hat day at school and I would literally wear one of these, these tiny little hats. Guys, look, it's a chicken bone in a soup broth. A chicken bone in a soup broth. I see a dog, a cat, or a lizard, but I don't see no chicken bone in a soup broth. <laughs> Shut up, if I pick this up, will Tiki come out? He looks like a rat playing with his hands. Does your ring spin? Mine do now. <laughs> Guys, I can't open books no more because I saw, I saw Evil Dead Rise. Weapons. I'll open it. Oh, you look so cute. I love it. Look, we just saw Molly cosplay and look at the little doll. Yo, buff bull. Get it. <laughs> Did you guys see the Mario movie? We saw that in 4DX and Bowser would breathe fire and the whole theater would smoke up. It changed my life. Spoiler alert, but you need to stay for the end credit scene of Mario because Yoshi makes an appearance. Peach is bricked up. Like her body is a brick and her head's like shaped. I love her. Goomba. So he Megan ships Fox. these two. I ship Megan Fox and the Joker together. Yo, Elsa got tatted up. I ship the Hulk. Um, <laughs> it's a polynamorous or whatever. <laughs> Thanos. Her. If you have any pictures with the celebrities you've met at conventions, these actually protect them. I might start investing. Guys, look at their sign. Bougie. Were you guys ever into Care Bears? I never liked them. Even no. though I loved My Little Pony, I did not like Care Bears. Not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Smile, okay. Look at that Care Bear though. The box is cute. <gasps> I feel Millie Bobby Brown. She's stuck in there. He ate her. We have to get her out. Oh my god, we have to get her out. There she is. She saved herself. Steve. Yo, look at the baby. Rocket. This is my first Marvel movie. Actually, no, Iron Man was the first one, but this is the first one I've, I've watched all of them. Groot's ugly, yo. He's he's wide. Like, you ever seen someone paste a picture in a Photoshop and instead of like making the image bigger, they stretch it? He's stretched out. What the <laughs> hell happened? I love Chris Pratt though. Oh, this is the I most see. organized I've ever seen a croc gibbet display. I love this. Look at this. <gasps> oh my god, Annabelle and the Nun. I love Duncan. Oh my god. I have one croc gibbet with one foot being animals and one being like my personality. Why do I want a Duncan one? Do I get it? Adopt a stranger pet. Oh, what was the kid's name? Dimitri. Dustin. 
Dustin. Dustin. Remember when Dustin saved that shit? Yeah. He looks like Remy's best friend. But guys, look who it is. I love the jacket. Popped off. Yes. It's literally f***ing Grinch. Rainbow dance show is just as in style. I did a test one time. I think I'm Flufflepuff. Okay. Right? So if we're <laughs> Flufflepuff. Oh. Also a Hufflepuff. So we are down in the basement in between Herbology and the kitchen. So it's a honey, honeysuckle, vanilla. Wow, guys, smell this. Look at the little DS's. They have like, their lives are like coming out of the screen. <laughs> she should start making um, like time lapse videos on TikTok of how she makes these. And that, that would help her cool. grow her business. We were talking earlier. Your fit is amazing. Oh my god, tie dye, period. Get it, get it, get it, girl. Get it, get it, get it, get it, girl. Take it, take it to the floor. Show it, show it how you roll. Drop it, drop it, drop it low. Drop it, drop it, drop it low. Look, the chinchilla has blush on. It's so cute. Look at her thighs. Wow, that and look at the little unicorn. Oh my god, the elephant. I love when like you're seeing all these vendor booths and the one that's colorful attracts the most. And you know who spotted my eye? The drag queen Laura. Look at Wanda. She looks so cute. Peach popped off. Period with the lips. I could look at these, these kind of booths all day. Cool. You made them yourself. Yeah, wow. Washing tape. I love the outfit, by the way, too. Oh, and your makeup looks so good. Oh my God, glam rock Chica. She's a human. So pretty. Yo, period. I just saw Aspen Hotel. Hell of a boss. Five Nights at Freddy's. More Five Nights at Freddy's. <gasps> and oh my god, Miraculous Ladybug! Look at Sun and Moon. Oh my god, that looks so good. That's the first time she's seen That's Lana. Dude, the first time I've seen all my fandoms in one place. Mario turned into a furry in the movie, but what's the origin? When I played Mario, I don't remember him having a furry power. I'm no vendor, but another way to catch people's attention is adding lights. I love the booths that are lit up like this. Okay, so let's start for the feet, because she's gonna pop off with the fit. Ready? Racing Miku 2015. Guys, I'm so hungry, so this booth came in clutch. I love Kit Kats and I got this. I wish I could tell you guys what it was, but I literally don't remember. It's so good. I already ate one because they're that fussing, but I wish you could try it. Hi, I love your Steven Universe art. Thank you. Aww. I never finished it though. I started watching Steven Universe and I never knew how it ended. Go around, I get a sign for everybody. Oh, you get it signed. I love that. Jeff and Rosanna. And they weigh when you pick them up. Yo, look at Miku, she turned into hands. The first My Little Pony Funko I've seen. Every Funko I've seen in my convention vlogs is G3. But this is G4, DJ Pone 3. Why are you crying? That's gonna be you. Oh, yeah. you YouTuber. <laughs> He's got a chokehold on me. I wanna buy this set, take Nick Wilde and return it. Wait, they're all different colors. They, didn't, they don't look like that. He did not wear that. If my heart drops every time I see a blonde in a mask, I think it's freaking Cat Noir. Love it! Whoa, that's crazy. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I love seeing the boost that I recognize from previous conventions. Like I remember, I screamed at him. I don't know what the hell this is. What do you think's under there? I don't know, but he looks like a that looks like a real person. You think? This looks so detailed. Even the shoes. Oh, wait, that's a mannequin foot. <laughs> But these two, wow. You ever seen the show Monsters Inside Me? This is exactly why I would never swim in a river. That parasite will grow inside you and eat you inside out. Batman's calling us! We have to go! Whoa! 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 You too. We're about to learn how to fight. Guys, look what I learned. Ready? That's it. He said just turn it. She's blocking. Blocking. Bam. Perfect. Look, there's a fox sticking out of her bag. It's cute. Ew, yo, this looks like Jeff when he sits down. Yo, is that Yoda? No. Hi! Oh my god, I can't be around them no more. I'm scared of them. Guys, look at this. They're riding a... A thing from Avatar. This is scary. All these puppets. Look, they have all my Emmys. They're holding them for me. Did you guys love these as a kid? The little vending machines that would give you tattoos and toys? Yes. Oh my god, I ate those up as a kid. Five Nights at Freddy's. 
Guys, oh my god, it's stacked in here, yo. Here's my kid announcement. I had three babies. Foxy, Chica, and Freddy. I'm a mom now. <laughs> the voice actress who voices baby. Dude, you, one day you gotta hear her voice. It's so soothing. And bro, one night, I couldn't fall asleep, so I started listening to her voice lines, and I got rocked. If she killed me, man, at least I would be peaceful. <laughs> that story got me rocked. Oh, uh, all right, well. Okay, you got squishmallows on your bed. <laughs> they got a lot of games. Like, I love this. I've never seen, like, all these gadgets and gizmos. Guys, we got press passes. We'll be here next. Part two, who do we ship? All right, today we got Mantis. Oh, shoot, and we got Mantis her. with... Sonic and his girlfriend. <laughs> All right, and then next up we have this boy, and we ship this boy with him. Arthur. <laughs> and last but not least, we got Elsa. We got Elsa, and we ship Elsa with Spider-Man. Spider Spider Yay! Look, I shipped that. Remember, Loki. remember that? He fell asleep in the car. Aww. Should we bring dinosaurs back to life? Comment down below. Next vlog, Mabel's pig. You remember? Oh. Look, you could feed them, free food for them. <laughs> At every single convention we go to, T-Mobile always be showing up in the corner. Look, it's Oscar the Grouch. Look at the Grouch's worm. Oh, he feels like a sponge. I want to put them all on my fingers and walk around. Look at these two fairies. That's Tinkerbell and Rosetta. We out here in Brickfest. Look at this Miku. Give her a twirl, give her a twirl. Yeah, yeah. Pop off Miku, period. I love the makeup. Pop off with the fits. Good. <laughs> he died with the stick in his mouth. <laughs> hey, period! Didn't we see our fan expo? Me? New York you Panama? interviewed her. You interviewed our fan expo really? when you ate your Panera bread. I think she really oh my god, were well, you at fan expo, right? I was earlier. Oh my god, we remember you! No, he's vlogging team. Yes. Oh my god, we were like, that Harley Quinn looks so crisp. Like, I love it. You always it. pop off. Or was it fan it was Fan Expo. Or was it I knew it. I knew yeah. it. Oh my god, I guess wow. I didn't notice. Small oh my god. Wow. Are you coming to Fan Expo again? I will. I'll yes, we will too. I can't wait to. Are you wearing Harley Quinn? Yes, yes. Oh my god. Look, I see you at Fan Expo. Yeah. Guys, we literally just saw her. Did you guys take her? Like, is this a photography booth? Or she got her cosplay here? This is her cosplay booth. Oh my god, girl, you popped off if you're watching this. I didn't know you had this outfit. So that's the dress that she made. So for... this is her whole booth? Yeah. Oh, Good I thought this was just where she got her outfits. Oh my gosh. This is all her. This is all her. Oh wow. Pop off. Look, I love Rudolph and Fluttershy. So cute. Guys, look, best ever after high. Apple white cosplay. I do uh, Frankie Stein too from Monster High. I just don't have any. Oh my god, I love her. <laughs> Guys, I love horror movies and I saw Annabelle, my jaw dropped. The freaking crow in the leaves. <laughs> this is Annabelle's cosplay. I worked with that Lorraine Warren since 1990. You worked with them? I wrote a column Shut called Hauntings up. for the Sacred Heart University Spectrum newspaper when I was in college with them. It will scare you out of your socks. It's the most terrifying case I've ever experienced in my life. It oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna freak out. Ed Warren is actually, he, he and Lorraine were in uh, Europe at the time when this was happening. And uh, he came to help me deal with this and Lorraine stayed in doing their lectures in Europe at this like, oh it'll blow you final 100 pages I explain how I met them and my first several cases working with them in detail. Wow. I do lectures all over the country talking about these things. Do you have a business card? I have information here. Yes, I want one. Oh my god. I'm filming all of this so I could pause it and read it later. Let's see, Monster and Minnie I'm doing in... The real Annabelle Dow right here. Yep. Yes. Oh wow. So this event I'm putting together is called Defeating the Demonic. And it's with four, three bishops, uh, deliverance ministers, who are, they're all exorcists, and they're all friends wow. of mine, and myself, to explain the reality behind what's going on with infestation, oppression, possession, and exorcism, to warn people against dabbling in these things that they should not dabble in. There's a warning card? Yeah, October 28th in Mohegan Sun Casino. Oh my god. Will be there for people to go see. They took out the artifacts from her basement? Yeah. No way, where are they now? The, uh, event. Oh my god, I remember I saw this interview with her and she said when she passes she wants it all sent to the Vatican. So they never they never sent them? Yes, wow. Yeah, That's crazy. And out, no, I don't support that. No, I don't either. Why would they do that? That's not what she would have wanted. That's so sick. Who, like, after she passed, who owns the house? Who, who took the it all out of? And the, they allowed that for her children. That blows my mind. That I don't like that they're out in the open, like they're free animals. <gasps> I ain't going to that convention. <laughs> 
daughter. Yeah. And her son, is, uh, her husband Tony Spera, is the one that's bringing everything out and doing the character and cons and stuff like that. So. I remember I read something that her son-in-law does paranormal stuff, right? He's now an investigator. Is he? Yeah, wow. So that's Tony. That's crazy. He's the one that's in charge of all the Wow. He never just like he's doing yeah. like the presentations and stuff and he wears the flannel shirt. He sounds just like it talks like it. Oh my god. It's eerie. It's really I cool. can't believe they've allowed everything to leave. That blows my mind. I thought for some reason I thought it was still her house in her house to this day, but like he was watching over it. That is nuts. That is so sad too. Guys, we're sitting on the floor. He's ready to do speed dating. No not. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting shy. <laughs> it's behind Rosanna, so we went here the first time and only two people showed up. It was Rosanna and this other guy. But like, we just want to go to like make friends and just see what it is. I've never been to a speed dating. Yeah, just to say you've We've done been it. to yeah. one, yeah. But so far it's just us, so we're gonna have to just all date each other. This convention's really unique. I feel like it's more based on like vendor halls because there's panels, but we're not really familiar with the fandoms that the panels are about. But the ones that we went to was the lightsaber session and the um, the speed dating. But other than that, we haven't been to any panels. I think now I'm really starting to appreciate meeting people and going to panels. We didn't even come here to meet celebrities either because we weren't familiar with anyone coming. But tell me how I literally meet. So one of my biggest role models in life is Ed and Lorraine Warren. I love them so much. They've been through so much to help people. And I believe in like supernatural stuff. And I believe in heaven and hell and ghosts and angels. And the fact that he used to work with Ed and Lorraine, guys, like, I'm technically, like, a step closer to meeting my role models because I can't really meet them because they're, they're, they passed away. I don't know if you'll know, if, say, I'm best friends with Michelle Obama and Mia knows me, therefore, Mia's two degrees of separation yeah. from Michelle, from Michelle Obama. Obama. That, did that guy know? He Ed? worked with Ed and Lorraine. So, Oh, so you're I'm two degrees of separation. So Mia's two degrees of separation. Literally. Ed and, Le and Le Le Lorraine? Yeah. Warren. After this, I'm literally going to pull up a chair and have a discussion with that guy because I have so many questions. He said that the freaking antiques in Lorraine's closet in that museum are out in the open and they're going to a Lorraine and Ed convention. Like, I, I'm so... I never thought I would leave this convention almost technically meeting one of my role models because he worked with them too. Like I look up to people like that because they worked with some crazy, crazy crap. But stay tuned. I'm gonna meet him and harass him and ask him all my questions. Rosanna, I'm scared. Guys, I'm number 38. Rosanna, what number are you? I'm number five. <laughs> she just name dropped me. Oh, sh kidding. Guys, so we went to speed dating. It was very organized. There were seven girls and seven guys, and we talked to each of them for three minutes. And at the end, we wrote our numbers down, and they wrote their numbers down. And then we each got up, and whoever we liked, we would write our phone number or email on each of them. But I didn't do that. I put my YouTube URL on every single guy's paper. <laughs> at the end, you take your paper and see how many people wrote their numbers down. I mean, they were kind of nice. They were pretty good yeah, people. So yeah, like, they were nice. Yeah, we, all we did was, will you talk about the mention? Yeah, yeah that's all I talked about. Yeah. And they're pretty friendly. So I hope you, you guys are watching this. I love talking to you guys. Yo, look at the Deadpool without the eye sockets. When you guys were in your dating, there was a vendor that was giving out free stickers. So I found these. So this is for you and this is for you. My Little Pony and Descendants, my two fandoms. What? We're at a trivia. Our name is going to be yt Me Bear TV. Hey, hey, hey. Round number one, we are starting the fun with fantasy villains. Gunslinger! We won! We got third third to last. Do you miss working with them? Yeah. How long has it been? Are you still doing this day? Do people call you for help? Yes, sir. Wow. And you can be attached to you? Yeah. Yeah. No, I have amazing psychics I work with. Work with them. Like, she didn't have to leave her house. I don't have to do it anymore. So I'll wow. just say, all right, so a guy can come up and tell me about a case or some situation that he's dealing with, right? Yeah. I won't have to tell her anything. I said, I just talked to this guy at the table, just say, looking, right? Mm -hmm. Just like, oh my God, you know, that should describe the property, where the things are taking place. Like, there's like a vortex or a portal there. And, you know, most of the time she can close it. She has found things that are really, really powerful that she doesn't want to deal with because she doesn't want to risk her husband. Because they go after your family. Yeah. Yeah. If you, mess with them, if you mess with them too intensely, and yeah, they're really, really powerful, then, but that's when you bring in the clergy. So that's what. So she doesn't deal with any of that. But I have clergy to call upon, as we did with the clergy. Oh, the blessed. The, oh, the blessed. The, 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 they have a, a spergillium with holy water, and they'll just clear the whole house out and so forth. And you know, they do all the praying. You know, so you know, 
as somebody like a spiritualist like Tracy is, she's also a Christian, but these are exorcists that go in and know how to really kick ass. <laughs> yeah. And that's what you do. That's what the warrants did. They said when everything's got too hairy, they would just call in Bishop uh, McKenna up in Boston. In the analysis section, they talk about how to bless your house. Anybody can do it. Right? If you believe that you're connected with God the Creator, as we all are, right? and therefore have the authority to call in the protection of the archangels, like for instance, thank you, Archangel, if you feel like there's something around you, right? or you feel like you just want to be protected, thank you, Archangel Michael. I right. pray that every day. Thank Aww. you for being here now. I love that prayer. Right? Yeah. Thank you for drawing your sword and for severing any connections I've made with any entities, you know, that I've come in contact with. Because most of we don't even know. Right. Thank you for protecting me in all ways, always. Right. And for protecting my loved ones. For, you know, protecting this house. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sending a legion of holy warrior angels to protect my house from all harm and so forth and to keep us safe. Mm -hmm. In the name of the power and the glory of the one Creator, Jesus Christ, all that stuff. So be it. Right. And that you're praying for the statement of Thanksgiving like it's already said. Right. Yeah. Right. Thank you for being here now. Mm -hmm. Boom. It's right there. Right. He's right there in an instant. That's why all this stuff backs off. They want nothing to do with any of that stuff. They just they, they take off. Mm -hmm. they, you know, they work in the shadows. You know? Right. And when you say, like, if you're praying, oh, please come help, please come help, I need you to do this, you're really saying, I don't even know if you're hearing this, if you're going to come, or when you're going to come, and in what capacity you're going to come, and if you're really going to help me, or if I'm even worthy of being helped, mm -hmm. instead of, thank you, Jesus, for being here now. Yeah, right? wow. Yeah. Okay. It's like, it's really, you can feel it. Did I tell you about the event I'm doing? Is it the, the, the lecture? Yeah, defeating the demonic. Oh, is that the lecture one you do? Yeah. Oh, sure. I'm starting a nationwide lecture. I'm having Bishop Long, Bishop uh, Cloud, Archbishop Fail, mm -hmm. and uh, Are Bill Are you traveling Bean. with that? Yeah, oh. Bill Bean, who's the deliverance minister. Start Philadelphia. <laughs> well, Bill's in Baltimore, so I'm starting in oh. Connecticut, mm -hmm. right? The hotels and libraries and things like mm -hmm. that, lecture halls. And it's going to show people the reality of infestation, oppression, possession, exorcism, deliverance, and what it all means, and to fear it, not to be aware of it, right? Mm -hmm. To not focus on all the negative stuff all right. the time because you're drawing that into your awareness. Guys, we talked to this man for one minute an hour. <laughs> he changed my life. I got his autograph and I bought his book, which I'll show you guys in a second. I got a book from him and he signed it. <laughs> she comes back. I'm high. You didn't sign this. <laughs> to Mia. I don't even know if I'm reading this, but I'm gonna read it. Oh my god, guys. I wish we could stay here all night and talk to him. <laughs> but guys, the best convention I ever went to. My One of my dreams was fulfilled. I didn't even expect to meet any celebrities today, and I met one. Guys, look. Remember when I did a photo shoot for Nilu? Guys, look. Don't you see the similarities? That's me. Can you imagine? Like, that's crazy. This is me right here. There's my cardboard cutout. Imagine that's not me. I, I want to sit here and sign autographs. <laughs> no one's gonna come, but. Where's her friend? The, your other Nilu. Is she, there she is. Yep, that's Yay! her. Yay! I remember, I did. this, this is my one? smoke. This is, is so she, smart though, because yeah. conventions, I get overwhelmed sometimes, and like a break would be really nice. They locked it when you came around. <laughs> Can us three start like an interior design for conventions and start like utilizing the empty space that's always left? What a beautiful crowd tonight. Sadly, the cosplay contest is Sunday and there was a dance competition I heard of, but that ain't even part of Contropolis. It's in another building. So there's nothing that involved a stage day. So today I'll perform. Y'all remember my dance competition in New York Comic Con? Audience reactions. <laughs> Take a take a to the flow. Show us, show us. Are you wrong? Drop it, drop it, drop it, look. Drop it, just drop it, look. I hope you enjoyed us messing around at Contropolis. We had such a great time. We've done shit we never even done before. I met technically one of the biggest role models I look up to in my life. That's freaking crazy. I'm gonna go home and read my book. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and, and leave, leave comments, comments everywhere. everywhere. Have a blessed day. Oh my god. Have, Have a, a blessed, blessed day. day. Lauren and Ed are my biggest role models ever and I technically met them and Jason was freaking amazing and I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah!